Halloween. I wanted to give you guys three easy do-it-yourself Halloween costumes. As you recall earlier, I showed you how to become Pennywise in five easy simple steps. Well today, I wanted to give you three more easy do-it-yourself Halloween costumes so you can look mwah, fabuloso with your friends. So the first costume today is gonna be a bird. We're gonna teach you guys how to become a bird. So here's some simple household items that you'll need in order to make this costume come to fruition. Glue, feathers, feathers, and a cardboard box. Okay, so this next step is pretty important. Uh, when you wanna move the knife so that you don't accidentally stab yourself in the heart, but you wanna spread the feathers evenly across the table like so. You wanna make it a nice even coat of feathers. And then you need to take your Elmer's glue, okay? Don't, don't worry about this, don't worry about none of that. Um, you just wanna pour this all across the feathers, like so, just a nice even coat is really all you need, like that. Um, I went with the purple glue, because purple's a cool color. Um, that, that should be about good, that should be about good. That's okay. Now you just need to mix them up. You really need to get these feathers nice and, nice and mixed up. No worries. You're gonna get a little messy, but it's okay. It's okay. We need, you know what? We need a little bit more glue. We need a little bit more glue. Just, just a little bit more. Not too much more. Just a, just a little bit more glue. Okay. Now that the feathers are all nice and glued up, um, the next step is pretty simple. You just want to apply them to yourself like so. Um, they don't stick too well. Um, as we all know, bird feathers are usually a little bit resilient to the stickiness, but it's okay because all you gotta do is apply pressure. All you need to do is apply pressure. Now this step might take a few minutes, so let me go ahead and fast forward for you guys. If you really need to, it is okay to get on the table. Make sure it's a sturdy table. This one's not too sturdy. Um, so I would be very careful as to how I get on this. But it's okay to pour glue on yourself. So that's, that's a step that sometimes you need to do. Sometimes you need to just get a little bit of glue all over. It's okay. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I'm an expert. <clears throat> oh yeah. I know what you're thinking. That's pretty simple. That's not too bad. Step one is complete. Let me go ahead a little closer to the camera so you guys can see the birdification process. So as you can see, it's clear that I am halfway to bird transition. Um, I know what you guys are thinking. Nick, Nick, where are the wings at? Well, I got you covered. So you want to get your cardboard box and you just want to cut off cut off the little the little tag portions like so. Be wary not to cut yourself unless you want to. It is the month of Halloween. Next step is a pretty simple one. You want to take these cardboard boxes, uh, the arms that you cut off the cardboard boxes, and you want to put them where your normal human arms would be. I know what you're thinking. Nick, I forgot you were a human. I thought you was a bird. I know, it's realistic. I'm a bird. So yeah, that one's not too bad. That's one of the easier ones to do. All you really need, once again, I'd like to recap, is some feathers, um, these kind, some Elmer's glue, preferably the purple kind, and then just some cardboard box. And you're, it's easy. It's really simple. Everybody's going to come up to you and they're going to be like, where'd you get that costume? To which you'll reply, I know a guy. But deep down inside, you know that guy? is you. Yeah, costume two is pretty simplistic. All you need is some glitter, and that's it. That's literally all you need. That's how simplistic this is. So any color of glitter will do. If your favorite color is blue, then you could choose blue. If your favorite color is red, you could choose red. If your favorite color is white, then you're a racist. So this probably is one of the easiest ones to do in terms of execution, I would say. So all you really need is some glitter, like so. As much as you need. It doesn't really matter. Just grab as much glitter as you need. Um, I'm going for not too much here. I just need a little bit here. Let's see. Maybe a little bit more. I don't want to get too much, but this should do. Hold on. I can't see. I can't. I can't. Hold on. Oh, God. Dear Jesus, help me. I'm a... <laughs> So pretty much all you do is you grab the glitter and you throw it at yourself. You can bathe in it. You can... Glitter is pretty sticky. So you don't really need the glue like the last step. As you can see, it's already sticking to me. And don't forget to throw some at your dick. While we're here, we might as well give it a little taste. Not bad. 
<coughs> it was bad. Take me into your loving arms and baby, put it all on me. <laughs> when I go like this, I feel like a gay dog. <laughs> gay as in happy now. Come on now. Don't get offended now. Come on now. I did forget one big step to the fairy part and I'm definitely sorry about that. I messed up the instructions on how to become a fairy. I feel like a failure, guys, but there's one more step and one more item that you do need. So please bear with me as I set up this demonstration. What you need is glow sticks. You can put one in your dick. It's okay. As we all know, fairies glow. And with, as you can see, I will show you closely a demonstration. It makes the glitter glow. Ooh. So I know what you're thinking now. Nick, I can't see shit. Well, fuck you. Hold on a second. God damn. So if there's one thing you don't know, what are you going to do with this glow stick? What are you going to do with it? Nothing. Nothing. You can put it up your bum hole, but that's about it. The glowy stuff is stuck inside. You need to get it out. So make sure you have your handy dandy knife. And you can just start sawing away at it like so. It's really important to get it all out. Just get that right out. Make sure you have a really sharp knife or you're going to struggle like I am now. There we go. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. And so, okay, you want to get that stuff and you want to put it all over your fingers. Oozy boozy. Oozy. Make sure you rub some on your shirt. It's okay. It's okay. Get in there. Get in there, girlfriend. Don't forget to put some on you, on your face. It's always important to put chemicals you don't know about all over your face. Trust me, guys. I am an expert. There's no need to worry here. But make sure you look golden. And then when you're done, you can have a glow-in-the-dark hand job. On second thought, do not do that. Do not do that at all. I burned myself. This shit's poisonous. I gave myself like a chemical burn, so do not, d disclaimer, disclaimer, fairies do not glow in the dark. <laughs> shit. Look at all this shit. The last Halloween costume today is my favorite one of all. I spent a lot of time planning and prepping on how you could get this accomplished and on what common household items you can use to get this, to get this just perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, the armadillo. What you're gonna need for this one right here is just a tire, okay, and a knife, and that's about it. Yeah. So it's always best if the tire was already flat. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, this tire, for the most part, is already flat, so not a big, not a problem really. Just like that, it just goes right in there like so. Nice and simplistic, wonderful. So let's go ahead and carve this off. So all you need to really do is get the rim off of the tire. It's almost like carving a pumpkin, honestly. We're almost halfway there now, as you can see. You really don't want to go down here. I know I said take the rim off, but that was proving too hard. So you really just want to cut all the way around like that. It's not too hard, honestly. It's just it takes a good amount of, a little bit of not an effort. A little bit of not an effort. Inside. Yeah. Now that you got one side done, you're going to want to flip it and do the same thing on the other side. Herbert it. Oh, I missed. Herbert it. Alrighty, once you have finished carving up the tire, you just want to take the parsh, the po this portion off, just like so. Um, not too hard. All you got to do is give it a little bit of effort. A little bit of elbow grease, if you know what I'm saying. And then, oh, voila. oh my god, what is this black shit? If anyone knows what this black shit is, please tell me I'm mildly concerned that it might be giving me mesothelioma. No, seriously, what is this shit? I don't understand. Is it, what the fuck is that? Is this, is this like the rubber from when I was carving? What, someone, help me, help me, I'm dying. What the fuck is this shit? Alrighty, well you gotta get rid of that weird black shit first. I don't know what the fuck that is, or why it's in my tire. Um, so this is no longer good to use in your car. Um, it wasn't good before anyways, it was kind of broken. You know what I'm saying. And now we're only going to need the knife one more time. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it right here so that it opens up entirely for, entirely for us. 
be careful guys because your fingers are right next to it and you don't want any serious injuries unless you do in which case go for it i'm not your parents you try to sue me you're an idiot you shouldn't have done any of this in the first place what do i look like a cosmetologist I need, I need a knife that saws. I'll be right back. Ooh, this one I'll do right here. Fine and dandy. Oh, this is the broken knife from the pumpkin video. I've decided that maybe not cutting the, the tire in half is gonna be good, but instead, what you wanna do here, now this is pretty simplistic. Now that you've got your tire like this, you wanna simply put one leg through it like so, kinda hoisting it up like so. And you want to put it on like overalls. So all you gotta do, all you gotta do, is go like this. Wait, that doesn't make sense. That's not how anatomy works. Instead of an armadillo, you can go as um, Miss Universe. Da 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 da. That's the Jurassic Park theme. Fuck. Well, anyways, that's how you become a, a dildo, a, a armadillo, an armadillo. What? That's how you become an armadillo for Halloween. You heard it here first, folks. Um, please feel free to use any of these Halloween tips and tricks uh, tomorrow. I know a lot of you don't have your costumes necessarily planned out just yet, but here are three lovely Halloween costumes for you. Uh, if you're looking for one more, I did do Pennywise. So that one, that one's pretty nice too. It's a little bit more complicated than these three. These three are pretty normal, top of the line, easy peasy Halloween costume ideas. The Pennywise one, I would say that's a little bit more for people who have been doing this for a long time like me. So besides that, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'm the Halloween guru, boo boo.